Okay, sorry, I just ran out of time um, uh, on the screen recorder. Okay, so I was saying you can write uh, write your code here. That's to store these um, the positions or the measurements of those buttons, uh, initial measurements of those buttons. However, it's not a must to store it here. You can also store it here. Uh, one more thing I also remembered just now. We also need to store the original uh, size of the form. So private um, rect. Now for the form, we don't really need to store a rectangle. The reason is this: we don't need the location dot x and location dot y of the form itself. All we need is just the width and the height. So for the for the form, all we need is just the width and the height. So for that, we could use a point. We could use a point uh, data type to to store the uh, width and height of the form. So please don't get confused why I'm using rectangle here and here I'm using point. It's just because here where we're using rectangle, we just want to store four different things. Whereas for the form, we only want to store its width and its height. So we just need two components. So a point is an object that allows you to store only two components, dot x and dot y. So uh, we're going to call it private point. Um, we're going to call it uh, original or let's say form original size. Good. Um, next, uh, I said we're going to store, that's when the form loads, we need to store all these things, um, all, the, all these things. That's the location dot x dot y of this, uh, the width and its height inside its uh, original rectangle, you understand? So um, let me just write the code. Maybe you uh, you get it better when I write it down. So uh, let's start with the form. Form original size is equal to. So we're just going to take the uh, the the size of the form. Form dot uh, sorry. Uh, this since we're inside the form object, we can just say this dot size dot x uh, sorry dot width not x dot width uh, okay so uh, it's it's a, a form original size a point so what we need to do is we need to create a new point and pass this as the x component and pass uh, this dot size dot height as the y component i know this okay i agree maybe point is probably not the best uh class to use here because i, I can see people can get confused why am i saying dot width dot height for a point when a point you know takes x and y okay fine i know you can actually do it like this but I think there's a much better uh, data type we can use. Let's use size instead of point. So let's just use size. We're going to use private size form, uh, form original size. And then here, instead of creating a new size, we can just say uh, original size, uh, form original size is equal to this dot size. I'm sure a lot of people will say, okay, this is much cleaner and much better. So yes, that's for the uh, for storing. So what we've just done is we've stored the original size of the form inside form original size. Next, we need to store uh, this rectangle. Uh, we need to store the rect of the uh, button one. Oh, sorry. Let's start with text box one. So uh, text box one original rect is equal to new rectangle remember it's a rectangle object so inside a rectangle uh, takes uh, two things a, a point which gives you the location and the size of the rectangle uh, in another uh, because it has an overloaded constructor so in another constructor we can pass the x the y the width and the height okay i think i prefer this I prefer this constructor. 
So let's go ahead and pass the x, the y, the width, and the height. So the x of text box one original rect will be remember the name of text box one. It's text as the name of the object itself is text box one dot uh, location dot x. That's going to be the first. Notice this x has to be capital X, comma. Then for the y, we're going to pass text box uh, one dot location dot y, and then for the uh, width, we're going to pass text box one dot uh, width, and then uh, for the height, it's going to be text box one dot height. And that's it. Don't forget your semicolon. So that's just it. This just takes um, these uh, data of the original uh, text box one. That it takes this size, the x, uh, the, the dot x and dot y of the location, and also the width and the height, and just stores it inside text box one original rect. Next, we're going to do the same thing for uh, for the buttons. Button one original rect is equal to new uh, rectangle. Um, we're just going to uh, take okay uh, button one dot location dot x capital X button one dot location dot y capital y and button one dot width and finally button one dot height okay uh, we can just replicate this and go ahead and change one to two so i just copied that control v to paste and change one to two uh, change one to two change one to two change one to two and finally change one to two so let's go ahead and do for button three so yes um you might ask me if i have a hundred buttons on my form do i have to go ahead and do all this well it depends now you you would do this if, if normally if if i was doing this uh, if i was creating an application with anyway i wouldn't create an application that has that much buttons on on a, on a form but if i do happen to have uh, a form with a lot of buttons the way you would do that will be slightly different from this you might have to uh, create a container that is going to store all the buttons and then probably uh, uh, loop through all the children of that form and then uh, get all these uh, um, sizes or data and store them. Uh, by container, I just mean an array. You're, go you're going to use an array. Uh, I don't think my students are probably going to understand that kind of structure if I should start uh, writing code with, with, with arrays and containers, an object in arrays. It's just going to confuse them. So it's better you grasp the concept now and then later you can go ahead and uh, do you probably someday if you understand this i'm pretty sure some of you are going to use the concept i, I ju I'm, I'm just teaching now uh, to 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 develop an array that can uh, you know do it dynamically without having to go th over every single button doing it manually the way i'm doing it now so let's do our last uh, button four uh, original rect button four uh, button four button four button four good so now we have uh, successfully stored all the uh, all the necessary or all the required data that we're going to need the next thing uh, we're going to do is well before before we go out, go over the next step let me just explain what we're going to try and do. Notice that if you have a form, so let's go back to the form. Suppose this form is 200 
centimeters long. Let's use centimeters. I'm not using pixels. 